This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. All right, uh, Against the Odds time. Playing some <laughs> Throne of the God Pharaoh in Standard. And we'll try this. It's not insane, but we got a throne. So Blooming Marsh, Player of Aya, pass the turn. See what our opponent's up to. Swamp. And, alright, looks like we are up against zombies. Well, let's Blooming Marsh and Throne of the God Pharaoh. Get in with Avaya and pass the turn. Drain our opponent. Down to 18. With the what right draw, we might be able to keep up with our opponent. Alright, Fatal Push Avaya and gets in for one. Well, let's just Swamp and Yahani. Get in, well, for three, since we get Throne Triggers. So, opponent's down to 15. Pass the turn. Next turn, we can tracker and get a clue. Opponent has Swamp. And Diagraph Colossus. Opponent gets in. Down to 18. Well, attack with Yahani. If our opponent wants to trade, that's fine. No trade. Play tracker. Play Westville Abbey. And drain our opponent down to 12. Oh, uh, this is where things get scary, though. Lord of the Accursed. Makes a zombie. Pumps the zombies. No attacks. Play Cryptolith, right? Play Loam Dryad. Sack our clue. And Loam Dryad. Pass the turn. Drain our opponent. Down to 10. Oh, we're kind of close. Here comes Liliana's Mastery. Well, this is where things get very interesting. Opponent. Attacks, 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 attacks. We take it. If we draw a creature here, we should be able to win with Ormondal. Especially if it's a cheap creature. No such luck. Well, play the land, get a clue, sack the clue, Vizier. Yeah, now we're dead. We needed the creature earlier. Play Vizier, and that does it. Oh! We were a creature away from winning that game. Bring in Kalitas. Go down one throne and Ovaya. Try it like that. All right, we'll try this. None of our combo pieces, but decent creature curve. Quagmire, go. Bonant, Swamp, no Crypt Breaker. Dread, Wanderer. Well, Blooming Marsh and Duskwatch. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. Gets in with the Wanderer. We take it. Down to 18. Uh, there's the Crypt Breaker. Well, let's play the Swamp, play Cryptolith right, play Zulaport Cutthroat, pass the turn. And then next turn, we might be able to just Marionette Master. There's a Colossus. Opponent passes. Ooh. Well, change of plans. I think we just play the Forest, play Kalidus, and Fatal Push Crypt Breaker. Opponent draws a card. We kill Crypt Breaker, we get a zombie, and get in with Duskwatch. Hit our opponent, down to 17. Opponent has land, Relentless Dead, make some zombies, and another Relentless Dead, sure. Well, opponent's going wide with the zombies. What do we draw? Vizier, which is pretty sweet here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Play Marionette Master, Fabricate, make some servos, and pass turn. Red Wanderer makes a zombie. And Lord of the Accursed to pump the dorks. Our opponent can't really attack, though. Opponent passes. Another Cryptolith writes. Well, let's play Vizier. Well, I think we gotta pass and block. Hope nothing goes horribly wrong. And we can activate Duskwatch a couple times. Opponent kills Kalidus. Gets drained. Opponent's gonna go attacking. Attacking, 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 attacking. Oh, block here, block here, block here. Do we want to block more? Uh, let's chump with a servo as well. All right, I think that's fine. We're basically just hoping to hit well off this Duskwatch. So activate Duskwatch, get a Yahani. That's a start. We're going to need something to go with it. Activate Duskwatch. There's Marionette Master. That might be enough. That might be enough to win us this game. And a throne on top. Oh my god. Can we cast everything? If we can cast everything, I think we just get the combo kill. Drain our opponent. Opponent passes. We draw a throne. Throne is too slow. So play Yahani. Play Marionette Master. Make servos. And then just drain our opponent out. Combo kill? One mana short from getting the bone kill, but this works too. Drain, drain, drain. Sack a servo. 
And we got it. Whoa! From that position, drain, drain, drain. Saga servo. Drain, drain, drain. And we got the combo kill. Oh my goodness. We hit him off our Duskwatch. Marionette Master and Yahani. Oh, almost to the throne, but that was pretty good too. Whoo, through zombies. All right, let's, let's run it back. This hand, I think we got a mulligan it. Yikes. All right, well, uh, Fatal Push is super good. That's a card we wanted to see on top of our deck. Ponez Dreadwander. Well, that's Blooming Marsh. Pass the turn. This hand's still a little slow. Opponent gets in with Dreadwander. Down to 18. Play Quagmire. Pass the turn. So many tap lands. Opponent wanders in for two. Down to 16. And passes. We'll play Blooming Marsh. Play Duskwatch. Pass the turn. Opponent has Grasp to kill it. Down to four cards in hand. We got to get to this Marionette Master. Opponent gets in with Dreadwander. Down to 14. No follow-up. Weaponcraft is good. So let's play Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Start going wide. Make servos. Pass the turn. Here comes Liliana's Masteries. Yup. Mastery. Make some zombies. How many of these does our opponent have? Goes to combat. I think we just take three for now. Land. Blooming Marsh. That works. Play a honey. Play Blooming Marsh. Pass the turn. See if we can get out of this somehow. Hopefully not a second mastery. Opponent goes attacking. Well, let's block block. Yeah. Fatal push the token. Pumps our Yahani. And then we sack Weaponcraft. All right. Opponent has Grasp to kill it. Yep. Well, opponent's down to two cards in hand. Throne. Well, let's play Bantu. Pass the turn. We really need a land for Marionette Master. Opponent goes attacking. Well, sack a servo. Block Dreadwander. Opponent has West Flabby. Another Dreadwander. Can get back Dreadwander. Yep. Play the forest. And yeah, we're just going to slam our Marionette Master. Make some servos. Pass the dirt. Oh man, are we going to steal this win? That forest on the top was super huge. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. No. Wow. Well, now we're not stealing a win. Yeah, that's game. Well, that's the way things can go wrong. So now I think we're pretty much out of outs. Casual, nine power, kill our god. We draw nothing. And that's game. Oh, wow. All right. Against the odds time. Playing some throne rights in standard. And we'll keep it. it seems reasonable. Spire Bluff, Canal. Well, his ink quagmire passed the turn. Sanctum for our opponent. Well, play Blooming Marsh. Play Duskwatch. Pass the turn. And there's Harness Lightning. So this is probably Teamer Energy, I would expect. Shelter Thicket. Well, play a Swamp. Play Loam Dryad. Play Cutthroat. Pass the turn. Next turn, we can get Tracker Value. Planes for our opponent. Ooh, Bounty. Uh-oh. That's scary. Well, play Tireless Tracker. Play Westville Abbey. Get in for one. And... Pass the turn. Oh, man. I bet this is just, like, bounty in place of Marvel. There's a tune. Gets a mountain. Plays a mountain. And Chandra. I'm gonna kill Tireless Tracker. Well, let's uh, sack our clue. Another Tracker. And a Cutthroat. We gotta kill Chandra. Play Cutthroat. Play Yahani. Pass the turn. I think we win if we draw an untapped land. Assuming nothing goes horribly wrong here. Opponent gets some free mana. If we draw an untapped land and resolve Marionette Master. Shrine gets a clue. Chandra. Well, now we don't just win. Drain our opponent a bit. Make Yahani indestructible. And a servant. Opponent's down to one card. Play Tireless Tracker. Blooming Marsh. Get a clue. Uh, yeah, let's attack Chandra. Opponent blocks. Sack the clue. And then... Sag Zulaport Cutthroat. Grows our Yahani a bit. Opponent gets an extra draw. Adds mana. Four, five, six, seven. Ooh, Jace. Good god. That's not great. So many planeswalkers. Cracks the clue. Bounces Tireless Tracker. Plays land, gets a clue. And passes. We draw more Yahanis. I guess we just have to Marionette Master and hope for the best. 
Make some servos. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Draws a card. Well, they have tons of mana. Thanks to Bounty. Oh boy. Oh, it's gonna be close. Takes up Chandra. Alright, hits a land. Puts us down to 22. Scry draw Jace. Yup. Alright, kills our Marionette Master. I guess we should have sacked it there, actually. Channel Initiate. Yup. Land gets a clue. Cracks the clue. And Sweltering Suns. Well, we gotta make Yahani indestructible. Pumps our Yahani. Opponent passes. Really need to kill Planeswalkers. Well, Tireless Tracker. Play Westfall Abbey, get a clue. And Duskwatch, pass the turn. Oh, wow, he's Planeswalkers. Super annoying. Also have not found a throne. Opponent, takes up Chandra. Magma Spray. <sighs> Can kill one of our creatures. Gets try a uh, Tireless Tracker. Oh, also should have sacked that to Yahani. Bounces Yahani. Plays a tap land. Channeler Initiate. Oh, these Planeswalkers. Opponent, passes. Well, play Loam Dryad, play Yahani, and pass the turn. Opponent cracks the clue. Oh, Bounty. Gets mana. Draws with Jace. Well, for not having Cryptolith Rites or Throne, putting up a fairly good fight. Aether Hub gets a clue. Cracks the clue. Kills our Duskwatch. Another Channeler Initiate. Bumps our Yahani. Gets a 3-4. Yeah, we definitely got to start sacking more stuff to Yahani. Haven't got punished for it, but we should be. Crack the clue. i play the swamp. Marionette master. Make some servos. And pass the turn. Man, if we could flip into Ormondal. This is getting annoying. Make Yahani indestructible. Now we might just be dead dead. Opponent gets drained a bit. Takes up Chandra, gets a land. Jace. Yeah, we're just buried under planeswalkers. Tireless Tracker, plays Tireless Tracker, and passes. We draw more lands, and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna concede. We could play it out for another 20 turns, but we can't win from there. Alright, so, Planeswalker City, probably want transgresses, want our Planeswalker removal, and maybe another Tracker. Go down, Ovaya, one throne. And I guess Loam Dryads and a Fatal Push? I think we gotta just run it like that. Well, okay, we can try this. Only two lands, though, and not that fast of a clock. Blooming Marsh go. Also, no Cryptolith rights. There's a Spire Bluff for our opponent. Well, Westville Abbey. It is a land, technically. Play Zulaport Cutthroat. Pass the turn. Opponent has a Sanctum. Well, Westville Abbey and Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Kills our Cutthroat. Make some servos, pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. And passes. Well, I guess we just throne. Tack with everything. Drain our opponent down to 14. Another land for our opponent. And Nahiri, the Harbinger, gets a servo. Well, attack Nahiri, attack our opponent. Play Cutthroat, play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Drain our opponent down to 12. Opponent gets to loot. Discards an Ulamog. Well, now we gotta get rid of Nahiri before we Cryptolithrites anyway. Magma Sprays our Cutthroat. Well, crack this. Grab a Forest. Blooming Marsh. Well, attack Nahiri, attack our opponent. Play Vizier. Play Blooming Marsh. Pass the turn. Drain our opponent down to 10. Uh, Throne is, is kinda slowly making gains. Opponent loots, discards a bounty, attunes, mountain, plays a mountain, and sweltering suns. Well, we still have vizier. We draw land, vizier on top. I guess we should take free vizier value. Play Westville Abbey, play Duskwatch, attack Nahiri, drain down to nine, pass the turn. We're presenting lethal, but it's probably not going to work. Opponent gets to loot, discards a Jace, and our opponent scoops it up. Whoo, all right. That was more like it. Got the pressure going early. Well, let's run it back like that. Ooh, okay. Well, Nahiri wrecks Cryptolithrites, but Cryptolithrites is a card we want to have. Sanctum for our opponent. We'll play the forest, play Cutthroat, pass the turn. Opponent kills it. Another land for our opponent, and passes. We'll play Zulaport Cutthroat. Hope our opponent doesn't have a Planeswalker. Uh, untap land, magma spray. Well, not a planeswalker. And passes. Oh, play Westville Abbey. Play Vizier. Pass the turn. 
Cycle Sweltering Suns. At least Vizier is a little harder to kill. Opponent passes. We draw land. Ooh, thrown on top. Oh, play Tireless Tracker. Play Westville Abbey. Get a clue. Get in with Vizier. And pass the turn. Opponent's passing. Uh-oh. We might have it. Crack the clue. All right, there's Magma Spray. Oh, play Yahani. Play Throne. Attack with both. Throne of the God Pharaoh. Gonna come through again? Uh, Natural Obsolescence. All right. Well, Throne is good enough that our opponents are bringing in removal to deal with it. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. Alright, that's a bad Jace. I mean, I guess it's okay. You get to get to draw and so forth, but it's not insane. Well, hit our opponent. Play Duskwatch. Play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Presenting lethal. We gotta decide what we wanna do with this transgress. Chandra Flamecaller. Okay. Goes all the way down. Well, crack Evolving Wilds, get a Swamp, activate Duskwatch, get a Vizier, another land on top. Our board goes away. Play Vizier, play Cryptolith Rites, play a Swamp, pass the turn. More lands on top. Bonus Cycles, bounces Vizier, Cycles, Channeler Initiate. Well, let's kill it. There's an Aether Hub. Play Vizier, Cutthroat on top. His Ink Wagmire, and pass the turn. Oh, uh, this Jace has been super annoying. Pona has Magma Spray. Tune with Aether, gets a land. Again, bounces our Vizier. Never ending. Play Vizier. Play Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Make some Servos. Play a Swamp. Pass the turn. Kills a Servo. Scry draw Jace. Scries to the bottom. Bounty of the Luxa. I mean, I guess we just go for it. Make some Servos. Attack with everything. Opponents gotta have removal or they're dead. One mana short of Ulama got the GG's! Whoo, man! Well, that was super sloppy. I'm gonna get yelled at. I know I'm gonna get yelled at. Because we didn't activate our, uh, <laughs> our Yahani ones. We didn't get punished for most of them, but then at the very end, we did. But a win is a win, and the deck is still winning. Alright, against the odds time, playing some Throne of the God Pharaoh. In standard, on the draw, no black mana, can't cast a single card, I think we got a mulligan. Alright, I mean, I guess this is kind of better. We'll put the forest to the bottom. Opponent has a mountain, opponent passes. Well, play Evolving Wilds, ooh, there's our throne too. Alright, pass the turn. Well, crack Evolving Wilds, get a forest. Send the airy flow to our face, ooh. Alright, up against burn, maybe? Play the Swamp, play Duskwatch Recruiter, and pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Shocks our Duskwatch. That's kind of annoying. Well, Weaponcraft's good. Play Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Make some servos. And pass turn. Falcon Wrath Gorger for our opponent. Oh, is this just the worst two-tick red hand ever? Looks like. Falcon Wrath Gorger. Yep, opponent gets to get in. Down to 14. Yeah, our opponent just had no early creatures. That's such an odd draw. Well, play Forest, play Cryptolith, right? Play Vizier. Ooh. And Marionette Master on top will pass the turn. Opponent attacks. I think we're going to block. Uh, yeah, we're going to block. Probably going to lose our Vizier, but I think it's worth it. Ooh, Invigorating Rampage. All right, well, at least we kill the Falcon Wrath Gorger. Down to 11. Opponent passes. Well, play Westville Abbey, play Marionette Master, tapping our creatures, and we didn't even get to play our throne. Our phone scoops it up. Two tick red, Fatal Push, Ether Sphere Harvesters, I think are our best cards. Gonna go down a Marionette Master, down a Vaya, down one throne, and try it like that. Uh, yeah. Gonna have to mull this one. <laughs> Uh, not gonna cast anything. Ugh. Well, go, go, Evolving Wilds. There's a mountain for our opponent and the Gorger. That's a more reasonable start for Two Tick Red. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Ugh, this is looking bad. Opponent plays a mountain. Borderland Marauder gets in for two. Well, crack Evolving Wilds, grab a Swamp. Drop down to 18. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Aether Sphere Harvester could be good, but we don't have anything to crew with it. Another Borderland Marauder. Alright. Let's well, Fatal Push. Still taking a ton of damage. Down to 13. 
Well, crack evolving wilds. Get our forest. All right, Duskwatch is helpful. Duskwatch at least lets us crew an Ether Sphere Harvester and gain a bit of life. Pass the turn. Soul Scar Mage for our opponent. Gets in. Five more damage, down to eight. Missed on the land. Well, play Bond to crew up Ether Sphere. Get in. Gain some life, up to 11. Opponent has a mountain. Sendiary flow, down to eight. Are we dead? We're close. Dropping to one. Whew. All right, down to one. Play Westful Abbey. Play Vizier. Yahani on top, and see what happens. Opponent goes to combat. We're dead to a pump spell. Well, fire up Ether Sphere. Block, block. If our opponent doesn't have a pump spell, we're still sort of in the game. Okay. Well, give Ethers your Harvester lifelink. So we're not just dead. Oh, we are dead because of Soul Scar Mage. <laughs> yeah, you got us with that Savage Alliance. Whew, that draw was bad. All right, run it back. Game three, we're on the play. All right, we can keep this. Blooming Marsh and Lone Dryad. Pass the turn. Opponent leads on the Soul Scar Mage. Play the tap land, pass the turn. Throne isn't really doing much yet, so no reason to play an untap land to cast it. What do you got, opponent? Plays a mountain. Savage Alliance can actually be super good against us. Falconrath Gorger and Cartouche. Oh, this deck. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're taking five here on turn two. Down to 15. Yep. Well, play Westville Abbey. Play Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Make some servos for blocking. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. Oh, God. Yep, there goes all of our blockers. Savage Alliance. Yikes. Opponent hits us for five. Are we just going to lose? Down to ten. Another throne. Kind of a maul. Play weapon craft enthusiast. Make some servos. Hope our opponent doesn't have another Savage Alliance. Opponent has a land. Village messenger. Opponent passes we draw not much well i guess we just play tireless tracker and pass the turn would have been nice to have a land drop there shock on our tireless tracker yep well down to one card in hand that's something tags with everything well kill village messenger chump gorger down to eight bonus passes no land oh my goodness well play another tireless tracker pass the turn Incendiary flow kills our tireless tracker. Oh, geez. Opponent goes attacking. Well, we'll chump. I think we're dead. Never got past land three. And a blood rage brawler. Oh, goody. Not a land. And yeah, I mean, that's game. Play Zulaport Cutthroat. We're just dead. We double chump, and I don't think there's any way out. And our opponent draws village messenger. Attacks with everything. Block, block. Yeah, there's just no cards we can draw that save us here we just chump 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 and then we will die eventually and no land and we scoop it up whoo well can't win them all all right against the odds time playing some crypto throne throne rights rights to the throne whatever throne of the pharaoh god god pharaoh Crypto with rights in standard inspiring vantage for our opponent well blooming marsh goo Gustwalker, um, okay, was not expecting Gustwalker, but we're gonna kill it. Well, let's Swamp and Duskwatch. Pass the turn. Well, no Throne yet, but this might just be a fast Westfall Abbey kill if things go well. Wanna play Zathalia. Well, play a Forest, play Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Make some Servos, and pass the turn. Always watching for our opponent. Gets in with the Thalia. Down to 16. Well, let's Cryptolith right. Play Tireless Tracker. Evolving Wilds, get a clue. And another Duskwatch. Pass the turn. Another Always Watching. And Glory Bound Initiate. Well, our opponent's doing some stuff, but I don't know if this stuff is going to keep up with Westville Abbey. Down to 11. We'll crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Swamp. Play Loam Dryad. Sack a clue. Another Rights. Play Westville Abbey, get a clue, and I think we just pass. 
We can chump, and then next turn, we can flip around our Westful Abbey. Opponent attacks and attacks. Exerts. Well, block and block. And then use our servos. Activate Duskwatch. Ooh, that's Marionette Master. That's a good one. Opponent pass it. Oh, I would have activated again. Well, play Marionette Master. Get a bunch of servos. Flipping could be risky. I think we just pass block and flip. Opponent. Attacks and attacks. Oh, block, block, and Westville Abbey. Sack the servos so we get a bit of drain damage. We still have a lot of creatures left over. See if our opponent has a cast out or stasis snare or something. Gus Walker and passes. No, go to combat. Get in with Ormondal. Ooh, all right, no answer. So, Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Make some servos. Loam Dryad. Crack a clue. Could still make a land drop. There we go. Hissing Quagmire, get a clue. And pass the turn. Dusk watches flipping back around. Seems unlikely that we die at 20. Opponent attacks, opponent attacks, opponent attacks. Well, this is working exactly how we wanted, except we don't have... We don't have a throne. Block one, and eh, let's just double clue instead of Dusk Watch. Drain our opponent. Pump our tireless tracker. Ooh. Ovaya. Could actually be pretty sweet on this board. Drain our opponent. His Ink Wagmire. Sure. Down to 10. And we're Militia Captain. Opponent passes. There's the throne. I think this means we win. All right, so we just attack with Ormondal. Hit our opponent to 8. His Ink Wagmire. Get a clue. Crack the clue. Drain our opponent. Throne coming through. Play Ovaya Parishi. Play Throne. Tap all of our creatures for mana. And we got it! Got the throne kill right away. Activate. Miss. And our post scoops it up! I mean, we might as well activate. If they had instant speed removal for throne, that would have been risky, but they do not. Woo! Green black throne. That is just how we drew it up. Bring in fatal push. Uh, we'll just go down Avaya. Let's let's run it like that. Alright, we're on the draw, and yeah, this ends fine. Planes for our opponent. Uh, let's lead on Swamp. Leave up Fatal Push. Planes for our opponent. Yep, definitely killing Glory Bound Initiate. Hissing Quagmire. Go. Thraben Inspector for our opponent. Gets a clue. And Expedition Envoy. Well, let's just play the Abbey. Play Yahani. Pass the turn. Tracker's better next turn when we make a clue. So our opponent have always watching? We are a smidge land flooded. And we'll take five. Down to 15. More lands. Well, play tireless tracker. His ink quagmire, get a clue. Pass the turn. Yeah, we're like mega flooded. Hopefully the clues will help. Opponent. Uh, this feels so bad, but we're gonna trade Yahani with Expedition Envoy. Stasis snares our tracker. Eh, that's another tracker. We don't mind that. Play tracker. Play a forest. Get a clue. Pass the turn. Another tracker was a super good draw. Declaration in stone. Well, sack a clue. Come on, non lands. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Vizier! We're doing it. We're doing it. Down to 11. Ooh, and a fatal push. Well, play Vizier. Unfortunately, we can't play Yahani. Play the swamp. Pass the turn. Oh, Vizier's so sweet. Glory bound initiate. Yep. Opponent passes. Well, sack the clue. Draw the land. Thrown on top. Well, sack the clue. Play Yahani. Play a forest. And. Pass the turn. Thalia's lieutenant. Sure. Pumps the dorks. All right. Let's see what our opponent does. Goes attacking. Well, push glory bound initiate. Get a counter. Another throne on top. Oh, well, play Westville Abbey. Play throne. I think we attack. See what our opponent does. Be sweet if they block and we can kill Thalia's lieutenant. Opponent just takes it. All right. Pass the turn. Opponent loses one. Sacks the clue. Planes and... Another glory bound initiate. Sure. We haven't gotten any vizier mana uh value yet. Now we do. Alright. Uh we'll cast that. Marionette Master off the top. Make some servos. Play Westville Abbey. Attack with Yahani. And yeah, let's attack with Vizier too. Opponent takes it. And yeah, let's pass. Opponent's down to eight. Declaration in stone. Okay. 
And Henry Militia Captain. Well, push Glory Bound Initiate. Pumps are Yahani. Opponent. Tax attacks. Alright, we'll take seven. Down to three. I think we just win here? One, two, three. Activate Hissing Quagmire. Yeah? And then Westville Abbey for Ormondal. And swing for nine. And our post scoops it up. Woo! Throne! Green Black Throne! That was super impressive. Super impressive. Alright, against the odds time. Playing some Throne of the Pharaoh God. Green Black Throne rights. In standard. Couple of tap lands, but we'll give it a shot. Valving Wilds. Well, let's just get down Loam Dryad. Pass the turn. What's our opponent on? Scattered Groves. Plays of Plains. And Servant of the Conduit. And passes. Well, play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Gotta get black mana here. Evolving Wilds for our opponent. Evolving Wilds Mirror. Opponent gets in for two. And we'll take it. Down to 18. Well, crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a Swamp. Well, kill Servant. Play a Forest. <laughs> play our Throne. And... Start the beaten drain. Get in for one. Drain for one with throne. Pass the turn. Bone cracks evolving wilds. And cycles. I have no idea what's happening across the table from us. This would be a crazy new perspective stack if that's what it is. Servant of the conduit. Let's just weapon craft enthusiast. Make some servos. And play evolving wilds. And I guess we might as well just tap to get the drain in. Hit our opponent for two. Pass the turn. For some reason, I'm worried we're about to just get comboed off. Either hub for our opponent. Bring to light X5. Interesting. Well, we know what's happening now. Angel of Sanctions for our opponent. Gets the throne. Well, crack evolving wilds. Get a swamp. Throne down. Well, I think we just play Marionette Master. Make some servos. And pass the turn. Now we can just Westville Abbey next turn if we need to. Confiscation coup on Marionette Master. So much spice. Opponent gets in with the Angel. Down to 15. Plays Planes. Well, I think we go for it. Ooh, and a Fatal Push. That isn't that good, though. So let's Westville Abbey. Servos and Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Get an Ormondal. Hit our opponent. And I guess we just pass. Opponent needs another Angel of Sanctions, I think. Regal Caracal. All right, keeping our opponent alive. Sort of. I guess they just got a chump with Angel. Well, let's get in with Ormondal. Opponent blocks. We get back our throne. Gain some life. Play Vizier. Can't Yahani. Uh, I guess we just Duskwatch. And pass the turn. Drain our opponent. So our opponent has to get back Angel to get rid of Ormondal. Opponent does some attacking. And we'll kill a cat. Here comes Angel. Gets the Ormondal. Yup. Lumbering Falls and passes. Alright, Duskwatch flips. We'll play Yahani and pass the turn. Maybe should have tapped for a bit of draining there. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Maybe our opponent's wrathing here? Well, block and block. Yahani gets bigger. Sweltering Suns. Well, make Yahani indestructible. Yahani grows. And Evolving Wilds. Well, kill Angel. Attack with Yahani. Opponent takes it. Down to three. All right, pass the turn. Down to two. Throne of the God Pharaoh. Yup. And scoops it up. Sweet. Well, that went pretty well. What do we want against five color bring to light? I have no clue. Maybe our planeswalkers? Our A planeswalker? And never to return? Let's try it like that. Uh, okay. I guess we can try this. The all black hand. Opponent leads on Evolving Wilds. Well, Blooming Marsh, go. Cracks Evolving Wilds and gets a forest. Planes for our opponent and a servant of the conduit. Can't really do anything about that yet. Well, play the swamp, play Duskwatch, pass the turn. There's a mountain for our opponent and a vizier. And eh, we might just have to kill that. Play Westville Abbey. Let's just Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Make some servos. Because now we can make a ton of mana next turn. There's an Ether Hub for our opponent. Goes to combat and passes. Jeez, Duskwatch flips. This turn could be pretty good. Play Cryptolith right. And I guess we just Marionette Master? Sweltering Suns is a concern. I think we put counters on it. 
opponent cycles we're pretty close to combo killing next turn we can sack four artifacts at 16 it's a lot of damage <laughs> Oh, uh, not bad with three lands in play on turn four. Opponent's gonna bring to light. All right. Now, well, this could be bad. They might just have to fumigate. Confiscation coup. Uh, I don't think you have enough energy for that opponent. <laughs> Man, opponent. Shame scoop? Is it shame scoop time? Yikes. Well, now I think we win. Uh, maybe we don't just win. We come close to winning. Oh, actually, we, uh, we do win. Oh, we don't win. We're a mana short from just winning. Well, let's kill Vizier, play another weapon craft enthusiast, make some servos, play Evolving Wilds, get in some damage, and crack Evolving Wilds, grab a forest, pass the turn. Our opponent's in super rough shape. Even if they wrath, they die. And if they don't do something good here, we just Yahani sack win. Opponent untaps, what do you got opponent? Plays a planes. All right, Angel of Sanctions lets our opponent live temporarily. Gets rid of Marionette Master. And passes. Oh, combo. It's a combo. Well, I think we start by activating Duskwatch. Take Zulaport Cutthroat. Play Yahani. I think we got the combo kill. Play Zulaport Cutthroat. Play Throne of the God Pharaoh. Go to our end step. Wait for Throne to trigger. Drain our opponent. Then we just sack our board for the last points of damage. Woo! Throne combo! The Throne combo kill! And our opponent scoops it up! That's exactly what we were trying to set up. That's the exact line to Throne, get in a bunch of damage, sack everything, finish the game. Sweet! <laughs> well, our opponent punted along the way, but that was still super sweet. So what do we learn this week about Throne of the God Pharaoh in Standard? So first off, as far as record, 5 matches, 1-3, 60%. As far as games, we got in 13, we won 8 of them, which is 61 point something percent. So winning record with a right to the throne, and the deck performed pretty well. I, overall, I was very impressed. Our losses came against Zombies and came against two tick red which the aggressive creature decks do seem to be a problem because our opponent stuff was just bigger than our stuff or in the case of two tick red it was faster than our stuff but we're able to grind through a lot of like mid-rangey decks so overall i just the deck performed really well and most importantly throne of the god pharaoh actually did do things that our deck otherwise wouldn't have been able to do the best example of this was against zombies where we were basically dead on board to this massive horde of zombies they were bigger than our creatures there was more of them than the creatures we had things looked super grim and we were able to just double activate Duskwatch. we found a yahani we found a marionette master and we were able to tap all of our creatures to cryptolithrite drain our opponent for like 10 or something with throne and then sack out our board to yahani to get the drain triggers with marionette master to finish the game and just literally stole the win because of throne of the god pharaoh it was also pretty reasonable just pinging in damage here or there. We saw opponents bringing in sideboard hate to deal with it, using Angel of Sanctions to exile it. So our opponent viewed it as a pretty big threat as well, enough of a threat that they were gonna bring in artifact destruction against our deck that doesn't have any other artifacts to deal with exactly Throne of the God Pharaoh. So it was very good, it was very strong, and the deck functioned really well. We had some nice aristocrat style backup plans, we have some card advantage, and then of course, of course the actual combo with Throne and Cryptolithrite, so I think the deck was pretty impressive, and I was pretty happy with how it played out. The only thing I would really change is I really truly do believe that the right number of Thrones is three, because... The second one is a dead draw, and we did run into problems sometimes, already having a throne, having one in our hand, drawing another one, and then it's just like we didn't draw a card that turn. So three is kind of the number for, I really want one of these, but I don't want to draw more. And throne, unlike some other legendary permanents, it's cheap, so we're casting it early. It's a weird artifact, so it doesn't die easily like a creature would. So there's not really a great reason to play four, other than it's against the odds, and we want 
wanted to show off Throne and do it as much as possible, but if I was going to play this deck again, I would probably just go down to three Thrones. Not because Throne is bad. Throne was awesome, and as we were just talking about, did insane things, but it's just risky to play four of a two-mana legendary artifact and not get clunky draws sometime, but overall, deck was sweet, it performed well, it felt pretty competitive, and Throne was sneaky good, able to win through board stalls when we couldn't attack, and just do just little damage here and there, tapping a Loam Dried and something else to draining out our opponent, which made it easier for us to win with our Aristocrat style stuff, sacking out our stuff to Marionette Masters and Zulaport Cutthroats in the late game, so overall, it was sweet, it was good, it was fun, I loved it, it was, it was just a blast, so anyway, that's been our Against the Odds deck for this week, right to the throne. Featuring the Throne of the God Pharaoh, Cryptal of the Right combo in standard. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.